Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So, you know, I wanted to make a video regarding the comparison between the different many of the platforms for Red Dead Redemption that is PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One X, Xbox 360 and also the PlayStation 3. Now, as you can see the video already in here in the background, this is not mine obviously, but it coming from GTA series videos, I will make sure to leave down links below in the description for you to check out the original video for yourself. Now, what makes this interesting is that I wanted to make this video right after the release of this game and I knew because there will be so many comparisons already coming up. And yeah, so behold, here it is and actually it does a very good job with the comparison between the same game on different platforms. And so what makes this interesting as well, as you can see from the glimpse, right, there's just simply are not many improvements, if at all, that when you would be paying attention to Red Dead Redemption, uh, different platforms, right? Of course, like there is no 60 FPS, that's a confirmed kind of thing already, and it's been tested a little bit as well. And a few things as well, kind of additional, I was not really expecting to see, at least this is available on a PlayStation 4 and that is anti-aliasing so it includes on PlayStation 4 such as an option two options uh, FSR 2.2 or FX uh, AA basically you can make a choice of these it's automatically I believe is on the FSR 2.2 and it's actually the best choice out of these two and since actually is the most effective anti-aliasing to the game and it's actually like i said it's already uh as a, uh, set as a default so i think that's very good news i like the way there's actually options for this as well now another thing this actually includes and this is all all the rest i'm going to mention is also will be including in the nintendo switch so motion blur, yeah, you can turn that off. There's subtle, uh, subtitle scale, there's also objective scale, there's help text scale included. So you see, there's always nice things that more or less of an accessories that you can utilize to your own advantage. Now, one thing's for sure that I kind of question like, wait, what the hell, man? Why is there no performance and a, you know, fidelity mode or, or at least 60 FPS? Because this game is relatively old, so it definitely will be able to support 60 FPS. And yet they made the decision not to do that. <sighs> Man, you see like the developers when they were uh, developing on this game, porting it over to PlayStation 4, well, they made sure that they do a proper port, but that's just the thing. They didn't improve anything else except making sure that it's a proper port. <laughs> also, another thing, I'm noticing that this game is not exactly like laggy, boggy, glitchy. That's actually a little bit of a surprise. Maybe there are some faults in behind the background that I'm not yet aware of as a recording of this video. But another thing, one, uh, well, I don't know if it's the last thing, but yeah, this game is quite small in comparison between many other titles, and I don't believe it was that small on the PlayStation 3, but I might be wrong about this, but uh, either way, this is actually 10.43 gigabytes. That's how large it is. On Nintendo Switch, is actually coming at about 11.4 gigabytes, so yeah, it's a, a, bit, a little bit more, it's like one gigabytes more, more or less. But yeah, so it seems like uh, it's well utilized, sort of, maybe, kind of. Uh, it's also uh, seems like it's going to be a good approach for newcomers. And I'm talking about newcomers that have not played Red Dead Redemption 1, right? Like, it's a question. Would they be seeing this or at least is it truly worth $50 for a newcomer? I think maybe yeah, maybe on Nintendo switch especially since you can never play this on Nintendo switch Well, it's the same thing you can say about PlayStation 4 since right because Red Dead Redemption 1 was stuck on the PlayStation 3 You were never able to play this on the PlayStation 4 or 5 now that you can of course Rockstar or take two interactive they will be able to well kind of be scummy about it so they say okay $50 is commercially correct and accurate it's like what the hell man it's like you can't be pro-consumer can't you like seriously like they're making sure that they ruin all their credibility and then they're gonna um well you know people are people right there's some muppets <laughs> basically that still gonna purchase this game on full price tag of 50 dollars day one or maybe even wait a little few more days and they're still gonna purchase this Rockstar will see a big investment, perhaps they'll make sure that they port over the Grand Theft Auto 4 in the future as well, and don't do any sorts of improvements. But man, 30 FPS, 60 FPS would have been the best option, at least in some ways. A lot of people were looking forward to remaster, but obviously that never came to fruition. A lot of uh, leaks have been happening last year that uh, remasters have been cancelled due to the Trilogy Definitive Edition performance, well, not performance, but the reception 
but that's not exactly our fault since they may, were the ones that greenlit such an awful port well remasters the so-called man you see like it's still kind of sucks if that makes sense that we'll have to go through all this and just simply get a port and not really much of an improvement i wouldn't mind having a port but as long as it would have actually had improvements in terms of its uh, performance all right guys i don't really have much else to say uh just this kind of game if you make sure to do a little bit of a comparison or at least see the comparison videos of this yeah, you will be disappointed at <laughs> my suggestion well just don't just don't look <laughs> all right like and subscribe see you guys all and have a wonderful day